Good morning. I would like to begin with a word of prayer. Would you pray with me? Gracious God, thank you for this day. Thank you for your word. Lord, I pray that you take my words this morning and use them to speak to your people. May your perfect word overtake my human words to speak to each heart so that we may grow closer to you. In your name I pray, amen. The passage I will be reading, preaching on this morning comes from the book of Matthew, chapter 2, verses 13 through 23. Hear now the word of the Lord. When they had gone, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream. Get up, he said, and take the child and his mother and escape to Egypt. Stay there until I tell you, for Herod is going to search for the child to kill him. So he got up took the child and his mother during the night and left for Egypt, where he stayed until the death of Herod. And so was fulfilled what the Lord said through the prophet, Out of Egypt I called my son. When Herod realized that he had been outwitted by the Magi, he was furious, and he gave orders to kill all the boys in Bethlehem and its vicinity who were two years old and under in accordance with the time he had learned from the Magi. Then what he said through the prophet Jeremiah was fulfilled. A voice is heard in Ramah, weeping and great mourning, Rachel weeping for her children and refusing to be comforted because they are no more. After Herod died, an angel of the Lord appeared in a dream to Joseph in Egypt and said, get up, take the child and his mother and go to the land of Israel for those who were trying to take the child's life are dead. So he got up, took the child and his mother, and went to the land of Israel. But when he heard that Archelaus was reigning in Judea in place of his father Herod, he was afraid to go there. Having been warned in a dream, he withdrew to the district of Galilee, and he went and lived in a town called Nazareth. So was fulfilled what the prophet what was said through the prophets, that he would be called Nazarene. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. For the past 16 years or so, I have been babysitting. Now, when I do this, my task is pretty simple. Care for these children for a few hours, at most overnight, and keep them safe until their parents come back home. Then, once the parents do get back, I get to go home. I get to go back to my child-free life. I get to wake up whenever I want, and I don't have to watch TV that involves cartoon singing dogs. (laughs) It's pretty great. These parents, however, are tasked with raising these children, caring for them and keeping them safe until they are adults and on their own. Now, Mary and Joseph were similarly tasked to be parents, Yet their task was much greater because they were tasked with caring for and protecting Jesus. When the Magi visited the manger, they presented their gifts, they worshiped the child, but then they got to go home. They back to their normal lives. They didn't stick around for what was to come. And as we heard in today's scriptures, what was to come was serious. When they had gone, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream. Get up and take the child and his mother and escape to Egypt. So he got up, took the child and his mother, and left for Egypt. God tells Joseph to take Mary and Jesus and to flee in order to keep them safe. Now this is not the first time that God has spoken to Joseph in a dream. Earlier in the Gospel of Matthew, we read that an angel of the Lord appeared to him and said, Do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus. Further on, we learn that when Joseph woke up, he did what the angel had commanded him and took Mary home as his wife, and when the baby was born, he gave him the name Jesus. Joseph did just as God commanded. In today's passage, we see that once again, 
Joseph does what God commands, when God commands. Joseph was assured that God was with him and his family, that God was keeping them safe. When God calls us to action, we can look to Joseph to see how to respond. Joseph, when called by God, got up and went. He did as God commanded. Likewise, Jesus, throughout his life, also followed the call and the will of God. He came to earth in a radical way, born of a virgin and laid in a manger. And throughout his life, Jesus was obedient to God's call, even to the point of death on a cross. We too must strive to do as God commands, when God commands. When we hear or feel a call from God, we need to get up and go, knowing that God is with us, caring for us, and keeping us safe. In verse 16, we read that Herod gave orders to kill all the boys in Bethlehem and its vicinity, where who were two years old and under, in accordance with the time he had learned from the Magi. Charles Spurgeon writes that Jesus is the innocent cause of the death of many innocents. Yet as believers, knowing fully who Jesus is, the Son of God, we know that Jesus, who himself was innocent, was put to death. And through his death, he saved countless souls. Through his death, Jesus Christ is our Redeemer and our risen Lord. Even on the cross, Jesus knew that God was with him, caring for him. So, though there will be times when we will be like the Magi, in a situation only temporarily where we then get to leave and return to our normal lives, there will also be times when God speaks to us and calls us to action calls us to step out in faith, out of our normal, comfortable lives. And in these moments, we need to do as Joseph did. We need to get up and go. Yes, it may feel uncomfortable. Yes, it may be painful. But we can rest assured that even in these moments, God is with us. God cares for us always. Will you pray with me? Gracious God, thank you for your constant presence in our lives. When we feel you calling us, help us to get up and go, to do your will, knowing that you are always with us, guiding us, caring for us, loving, for, loving us. Thank you for your unfailing love. In your name I pray. Amen.